Hello, Dan Harvey for Boris FX here with a quick look at the new GMAS Tracer export functionality for Autodesk Flame in Mocha Pro 2020.5. My goal is to track a mask for the wing mirror here, which may prove tricky on account of the reflections. I'll add batch effects to my timeline segment in Flame, load Mocha Pro into an OpenFX plugin node, and launch the Mocha UI in a floating window. Mocha allows me to create shapes with a range of tools including X splines, Bezier splines, magnetic splines, and the area brush. I'll select the area brush in this case, enable quick mask and begin painting in areas I want to include in my track. I can set the brush size by command dragging the cursor and change the brush to eraser mode by holding the alt key whilst painting. When I'm done painting I'll hit the quick mask button again to complete the shape. Now I'll choose the type of motion I want to track and start tracking. Speed of tracking depends on compute resources, so I'll fast forward in this case as I'm working on an older MacBook Pro. In order to visualise the track I've measured, I'll hide the shape, show the planar surface overlay, and align it with the plane I'm tracking. I'll name this shape layer and hide it before drawing a bezier shape around the mirror. I'll name my layer and link it to the track I measured previously with my area brush shape. Now I'll draw another shape for the car body. This time I'll use the magnetic spline tool, which automatically snaps the high contrast edges, or allows me to draw the shape outline when I hold down the left mouse button and drag. Once I've completed the shape, I can set the level of detail on the resulting X spline and adjust the softness of all shape vertices by right clicking and dragging on the tangent handles. Once again, I'll name my layer and link it to the track I previously measured with the area brush shape. Now I'll open the export shape options from the track menu. Previous versions of Mocha allowed me to export a flame G mask and in Mocha 2020.5 I now have the option to export the shapes to Flame's G-Mask Tracer, either as basic masks or as masks with parent axes. I'll save and exit from the Mocha UI back to Batch Effects. I now have the option of using the map from Mocha by enabling View Matte in the Mocha menu, or I can import the Mocha shapes to Flame's G-Mask Tracer for further refinement with the Tracer toolset. I'll add a GMAS Tracer node to my schematic, hit the Load Setup button, and select the Tracer setup I exported from Mocha. I'll select the Tracer Result view and Tracer Schematic, where we see the shapes I exported from Mocha as GMASs with their parent axes attached. I'll adjust the edge softness by selecting Add Points mode for my cursor and Shift dragging to add the gradient edge on the mirror shape. Now I'll change the fill colour of the car body shape to black so that it works as a holdout mask. Note how the bezier shapes from the mirror have the same number of vertices as they did in Mocha. The car body shape I created with the magnetic spline tool was an X spline in Mocha and now has additional vertices as X splines are not currently supported in Flame. So I'll zoom in to locate an edge to add the softness gradient and refine the edge by adjusting the edge smoothing and post blur values. Now I'll add a comp node to my setup, load the clip of the flashing lights I want to comp in, connect it to the front input socket on the comp node, connect the car clip to the back and my tracer output to mat in. Next I'll insert an action node in the front branch so I can reposition my front clip before selecting the required blending mode for the comp. Now I want to match move the flashing lights with the motion I measured on the car mirror shape, so I'll copy its parent axis from the GMAS Tracer schematic and paste and parent it to the front clip's axis in the action schematic. Finally I'll connect the comp result to the batch effects output, exit batch effects and play back the result in the timeline. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials on Mocha and the rest of the Boris Effect product family, check out the training pages at borisfx.com.